Dear able-bodied Catholics, you know what? You should probably genuflect. And I've seen many of you, some of you who are quite, you know, my age. And you're pretty healthy looking, at least. I mean, you, you're running back and forth, basically, when you receive communion. So you don't look like you have some kind of crippledness or, you know, handicap issue. However, it seems like you don't know how to genuflect. You know, when I do see you genuflect, you seem to, I don't know, dance. It's some kind of... Wait, it's kind of where you dip your knee. I don't know how to explain that, but... It's not how you're supposed to genuflect. You're supposed to genuflect with your right knee touching the ground. That actually says that in a general instruction of the Roman Missal. Um... I think, yeah. A genuflection made by bending the right knee to the ground, made by bending the right knee to the ground, signifies adoration. Hmm. And therefore it is reserved for the most blessed sacrament, as well as for the Holy Cross from the solemn adoration during the liturgical celebration on Good Friday until the beginning of the Easter Vigil. <gasps> so... Basically, you're supposed to genuflect like that, as in, you actually put your right knee to the ground, and then you make the sign of the cross. However, there seems to be mentality that you just can do whatever you want, because you're supposed to go to Mass, but you're supposed to come as you are. Come as we are! Chewing gun! Come as we are! It will be so fun! Church! Church isn't about God no more. Church, church is about love. Love. A heart. Love. That's right. Because we, we are community. Community is joined by love. Loving each other. Because we come as we are. Chewing gum. Come as we are. It will be so fun. Watch me. We all hold hands and sing Marty Hagen and you know, the community, eat at the table instead of the altar, and we just go up and say, hi, Jesus, or, and then there's some of you who may think that you're not worthy, or that God doesn't love you, and that God just judges you there. You're just walking into that church, and God's looking down on you and saying, you pathetic sinner, you, or something like that, and you just don't care. You go there because your parents go there, maybe. Maybe you're older, and you just are from that spirit of Vatican II stuff where you think that you can just come as you are. So, whatever reason it may be, I really would ask you if you could please genuflect. It would be nice. Do it for Jesus. Yeah. Also, I would ask that you genuflect out of love and out of reverence. Not just because you were told to. And especially not because I told you so, because that would be kind of weird. You're not my dad! You can't tell me what to do! No, I'm not. But I'm asking you to do it. Please. It'd be nice. <laughs>